town, but uh, we'll see. Because this is hard mode, hard, hard mode it doesn't. The hard mode doesn't fuck around. I, <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Hey everybody, it's me, Biggs, here with another video for your enjoyment. Uh, gonna be playing some Banished today, I think. Uh, just uh, got this game the other night and I could not stop playing it last night. I almost didn't sleep uh, so that I could play it. Uh, in the background there you can see my town that I have uh, built, but uh, for the purposes of this Let's Play, uh, for this video, I think I'm going to start a brand new town, but on a hard difficulty, uh, because medium, as you can see, uh, yesterday was my first time playing, and I was able to build this town, and uh, I'm in year three, I think, uh, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot easier, because uh, me and my uh, a couple of my friends tried to play on hard, and oh god, it was awful. I, uh, I, 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 it, part of it was my fault, I'll admit, um, because I didn't, uh, I didn't have all of the game mechanics down, um, I didn't really, uh, think I needed to build some things to get some things done, but apparently I did, uh, but, water under the bridge, uh, because I know what to do now. Um, so what I'm going to choose for terrain type is valleys, uh, terrain size small, Climate fair disasters are on because, you know, who doesn't like a little spice in their life? Uh, and I'm going to put it on hard. So, uh, let's get into it. Oh, look at them. They're farming. How cute. I haven't been able to build a pasture yet because, like, I, I haven't found any lands that just have animals on them yet besides deer. Wow, this is... Ooh. Oh boy, we're surrounded by iron, so that's good, but also bad. Uh, so what we're given here in the beginning is just our cart with 1,200 potatoes, 100 firewood, a couple hide coats, and, and some tools. And uh, let's see, they started me off with 8 adults and 8 children. Great. Okay, uh, so this is hard mode. Uh, the first things we are going to want to do are build a... Let's see. Uh, we're going to want to build a... Stockpile. I think I'll build that right here. Stockpile. Uh, that way, when we cut down all these trees and stuff, uh, we'll actually have some place to put them because that's one of the things that I did uh, wrong the first time. Is I uh, forgot to put down a stockpile and nobody was uh, nobody's bringing in anything. Uh, so that kind of sucked. Um, but here, what I'm doing right here is I'm just cutting down trees. I'm trying to deforest and de-rock all of this stuff right here so that I can take in the resources and hopefully uh, start building a town. But uh, we'll see, because this is hard mode. Hard mode, it doesn't... Hard mode doesn't fuck around. I, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that right now. I, uh, I fucked up the first time I made a hard mode town and I didn't make a, uh, a guy to make a firewood or whatever, a woodcutter. And... After the first winter, every one of my citizens froze to death, except for one 14-year-old, and he just kept trucking on, he just kept working, and I was like, oh god, it's making me sad. <laughs> so I had to quit that one. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to put the speed up to plus two uh, for the purposes of actually getting shit done. Um, okay, so uh, I have a stockpile. I'm going to want a storage barn as well. Uh, so I'm going to put that here, I think. Um, another thing you want to uh, build pretty quick is food. So uh, I'm going to build a fishing dock because fishing docks bring in a lot, a lot of food. Uh, like crazy amounts. Like uh, my last game I was playing, it, uh, it brought in over a thousand fish in a season. And that is just amazing. That is insane. That is so many fish. Um, let's see, we're also going to want a forester, and what a forester does is they, uh, they actually cut down and, uh, replant forests so that we can, uh, actually have a dependable, uh, resource of trees, but 
the big part about placing these is you see the yellow circle there is where they will cut down and where they will replant. So we kind of want to find a place where they can cut and replant that won't be like a burden uh, to the village. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to build a bridge. Yes, I'm going to, but first I'm going to build a road because uh, I kind of want to keep my road and my bridge, uh, you know, with each other symmetrical because I'm anal retentive like that. Uh, okay, so here's a bridge, and uh, I'll have a road continuing onward to where I... Oh, that's also a bridge. Shit. Um, <coughs> I'll build a bridge. Uh, to where I want the farm to be, and I'm sorry if I, uh, if I cough or sneeze and stuff, uh, I'm kind of sick <laughs> at the moment, uh, so be wary, don't come too close, because I am sick, and I will get you sick, I won't really get you sick, uh, ooh, where did my thing go, where did it go, okay, so, oh, damn it, all right, so I'm going to build my forester here. So as you can see, he has like a, a fairly large range of places to uh, kind of build and uh, cut down and replant trees without uh, bothering the rest of the village over here. Uh, so that'll be good. Um, next, uh, as you can see, the, the uh, little house icons above all your people there. And that means that there are... Uh, Nobody has a house. Nobody has a house to live at. Also, another thing I forgot to do is, uh, uh, in the beginning part here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place uh, a couple of people in the builder allocation so that these buildings will actually get built. Because if you don't, they will just take so long to make uh, because everyone is already like committed to cutting down these trees and getting all that iron and stuff that uh, no one will go and make the houses, and that's a problem. Uh, but speaking of houses, uh, I'm going to build a couple of houses because none of my people have anywhere to go. And I found in the beginning of these games, they usually give you about eight people uh, and eight children. So, And I think each house can hold like five. So you're going to want to build at least three, which is what I've done here. Okay. Uh, so I have a storage barn getting set up, uh, we have, uh, and once the storage barn is finished, they'll move all the stuff that's in the cart here, uh, to the storage barn, and we'll have a fishing dock, we'll have three houses, and we'll have a forester lodge, and it'll, ju it'll just be fantastic, it'll just be fantastic. Another thing that is very useful to kind of preempt in the beginning here is a, uh, a forager's hut. A uh, forager's hut brings in food, uh, like, onions and like things you would just find just planted in the ground and stuff and as you can see I've given him kind of a large range uh, alongside the forester lodge um, so hopefully that'll bring in uh, enough food so that we can survive um, also what I like to do is I just like to keep uh, the little statistics screen up oh one of our children grew up how wonderful uh, I like to keep the little statistics uh, bleh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the statistics screen up so that I can see kind of what I'm doing and like uh, what needs to be done uh, and there'll be like little notifications and shit up here that say 16 people are without homes you must build homes in order for them to have houses and I say yes game thank you very much you're very helpful and I appreciate you I don't know if you can hear but uh, the <laughs> the the sound the rain makes kind of sounds like the like someone put a microphone in a bathroom and just turned the shower on and <laughs> recorded it. But honestly, uh, that's probably what it is because this game was actually made by one dude. Just one guy. He did all the programming and as I, as, as far as I know, he did all the art too, which is incredible. Um, I don't know if he made the music. That bit is unknown to me. Um, okay, I'm going to set priority on the storage barn, because we need to get rid of this. So, come on, guys. Someone start building that barn. Pretty please. Alright. So, two builders. Uh, no other special allocations. Okay. Actually, 
I might set a couple more workers since nothing is getting built. And I'm going to speed up time a little bit to see if I can't uh, get up to five times so I can see if they'll build this any faster. Let's see. Okay. It's starting to work. Alright, and we'll have this storage barn and uh, they'll start bringing over everything from the storage cart into the storage barn, I believe. Or at least I hope so. Because if they don't, then I can't get rid of the cart. I wonder if I can... No, I can't drag and drop. Okay, well, now I think they're starting to build the, uh, the houses and my wooden bridge, which will get them over to where they're supposed to build the forester's hut and the gatherer's hut. So that's good. Uh, none of the houses are being built, which is unfortunate, because we need those houses. Um, oh! God, before I forget, uh, another thing that we really, really need is... Let's see, uh, where is it? Is a woodcutter. Because what a woodcutter does is a woodcutter uh, cuts the wood, obviously, into uh, usable logs for firewood. And that is a big thing in winter. Because if you don't have a tailor that's making wool and leather coats, because wool and leather coats are apparently the best coat that you can make. If you don't have a, a tailor making wool and leather coats, you're going to want a woodcutter, or else everyone's going to freeze to death. So that's... that's nice. <laughs> Which is what happened to me uh, my first time playing a hard game. Uh, or, I mean, a, a hard difficulty one of these. Okay, so the bridge is done, and now I'll increase priority on the uh, the woodcutter, or the uh, forester lodge, because we need the forester lodge, and we'll also need the woodcutter to be up to speed as well. I don't know if I want him over there, though. Nah, fuck it. I'll leave him there. Um, and I'll also slow down time, just to kind of keep my wits about me. Server stone is low. That's bad. Uh, that's bad because making pretty much any kind of structure in this game requires that you have stone and wood, but stone you need a lot of it, and it sucks because after you run out of the out of the stone that's around your around your place, you're kind of fucked. But um, uh, one thing that this game offers is a oh man, I could have settled over here. Oh. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, one of the things that this place offers is a, uh, a, a stone quarry and an iron mine, which are invaluable because they'll just mine into the ground and get all that stone and iron for you instead of you having to always go out and try to find new sources of it. <sighs> mm, coffee. Okay. Forestry Lodge is being built. Uh, the second thing I'm going to build is that woodcutter's lodge. And then the gatherer's hut. In that order. Because it is late summer. It is going to be getting into winter soon. And, oh man, we're running out of food too. Um, crapola. Uh, I'm going to have to increase priority on the fishing dock as well. Uh, and put a road there, I think. It's hard, man. It's hard because the seasons pass so quick. And it's, ugh, it's nerve-wracking. It really is. Like, you don't know if you're going to have enough food. You don't know if you're going to have enough uh, uh, warmth to survive the winter. You just don't know in hard mode. Uh, but my goal here is to die uh, eventually. So uh, at least I'm going in knowing that I want to die. All right, I'm going to allocate another worker because I'm getting kind of scared because it's late summer. It's going to be autumn soon, and uh, we only have 454 stocked food, and to survive a winter, you need at least, in my experience, a 1,000. So, eek. Off to a rough start so far, but uh, nothing unexpected as it is hard mode. Um, ooh, good, 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 good. Okay, we have... Uh, Two people working the Forester Lodge, uh, which is good because we'll have a steady supply of wood. And uh, now I'm going to increase priority on the uh, woodcutter, uh, so we'll have that soon. Um, God, 
getting nervous, getting nervous. Um, oh, a really cool thing that you can do with this game is, uh, this game is not multiplayer, uh, which is, I mean, obvious, but... I don't know, it'd be kind of cool if you could, like, build on a map with, uh, with, like, a bunch of other people. If you had, like, a large map and there were just people all over the map and you could trade with them and stuff. That would be super cool, but, uh, that is not how it works at the moment. I don't know if that will be implemented later, because that would be super cool if it was. Um, I'm just fucking zooming all over the map while I'm talking. Why am I doing that? <laughs> um, uh, but a thing that you can do is, since the, uh option screen, like the beginning screen where you start a new game, it uh, it says, you know, map seed and stuff like that. Uh, what a buddy of mine uh, figured we could do was uh, there were three of us, and each of us came up with three numbers, and we would put them in order uh, from whoever said their three numbers first to the last three numbers into the map seed, so that all three of us would get the exact same map and we would start building and see who could survive the longest. So that is that was super fun. Like if you have this game and you have friends that also have this game and want to try it out, I highly recommend doing that because that was so much fun. But that was also the one where we tried to do it on hard mode um, my first time playing, so I died pretty hardcore. Um, how many citizens do I have without jobs? Three. Okay. I have five workers working on this, so it should be done relatively soon. How much firewood do we have? None. Oh boy. How much firewood have you produced? 24. Okay, hopefully that'll get us, uh, hopefully that'll start getting us, like, where we need to be. 